John. Look, there's someone there. You can't just go walking into other people's houses. Go get you some lunch, huh? Huh? Who are you? I'm Sam. This is John. We're from Port Croc Isle. Port Croc Isle. Ah, I see. You're from the outside. I should let the mayor know we have vis visitors. No, you can't. The mayor's gonna lock us up and throw away the key. Ah, uh, oh dear, <laughs> there's no need to worry. The mayor here is a very kind and welcoming man. My name's Uba. You should stop by the village. Everyone will be so surprised to see you. Come on, John. Let's go, boy. Oh, I mean, I was just... I was talking to John. I mean, the dog. I was talking to the dog, John. Not you, John. I know you're not a dog. Never mind, I'll just stop talking now. I'll uh, wait for you too at the wood bay. It's a village. John, look. It's a village. You made it. Welcome both of you.
Was? Was? Where's the mail? Oh, if it isn't Uva. And look, here's gorgeous as ever, I might add. Wes, I want to introduce you to someone. This is John, and this young lady here is Sam. John, didn't I just see John earlier this morning? Where is the little rascal? This is John the human, Wes. Oh, now that you mention it, these do appear to be fresh new faces. Would it be alright if they used uh, that old cabin for a bit? What do you think, boy? Isn't Uva just beautiful? She's a pride and joy of this village, you know? Wes. Oh, the gate is of youth. <coughs> Sorry about that. The mayor, he can be a bit of a comedian. There's a small cabin just to the well east of the valley. Use it to get some rest. If you need anything at all, please don't hesitate to ask. We're going on. Bye bye, John. Oh, here are those, those outsiders who I was talking about, ain't you? Outsiders, wow, well, let me see, huh? Now you listen up here, boy. You lay so much as a finger on our little Uva, and I'll make sure you don't sit right for a week. You hear? I wouldn't be making threats if I were you, Miller. You ask me, you're no match for this fella, huh? You wanna say that again, you knuckle-headed buffoon? Come on, give me your best shot. I'll show you a real threat. Don't you two worry about Punchy McPunch or something over there. He talks tough, but he's a big old softy deep down. He is Uva's brother, after all. You think I need to talk for me? Need you to talk for me, you overgrown lump of a log? Now, I'll let this fellow prove himself. Come by the Blimping Ranch later. It's to the east of the valley. Then I'll see what you're really made of.
help, sir. I'm Rocket from Dan. I'm not in training. Dan, now there's a place I've not heard in my travels. The tales of your knights have graced my ears. They say you're a champion of justice and conquerors of evil. Be that as may, I'm still only in training. I can't claim such titles myself. But you're still a knight, yes? So surely you'd be interested in a quest to save the princess. Quest, princess, that sounds marvelous, but I'm still nothing but a novice. Are you sure I'll be able to carry it out? <coughs> well, I can't say for sure. You'll never know if you don't try. It's uh, knowing that a beautiful princess needs you to come save her or not. A beautiful princess, a more scintillating set of works that did exist. Will you accompany me then, my friend? Having someone experienced as you by my side will surely set my mind at ease. Certainly, having a strapping lad like you around would be better than one of those money-grubbing bodyguards. That reminds me, I do happen to have myself a few goods for sale myself. And don't worry, they're definitely worth every penny. Shout the monster, we're not, leave this credit to me. As reliable as expected. I should have known a knight like you would know how to use skills. Hey, you are done, thanks for the offer, but I'm not really interested. Skittering off now, my delectable little morsels. My stomach has vacancies for tonight, and you'll be filling them. Stop right there, you vile, miserable creature. Oh, ho, ho, not scared of me, are you? Then I'll feast on your bones, too. Thank you, both of you. Speak nothing of it. I am Rocket of Dan, a knight in training, and this is my friend, a traveling merchant. I am uh, not but a simple peasant girl who was serendipitously uh, saved by night after being attacked by monsters. Alright then, simple peasant girl, serendipitously saved by night after being attacked by monsters. May I ask your name? Don't be that way, monkey. You mustn't call our saviors such vulgar names. You wouldn't have known he was calling us vulgar names if you hadn't said anything. My name is Alva Santicast, but feel free to just call me Alva. Santicast, why do I feel I is as though I've heard that name before? That's wonderful. Well then, Alva, you'll have to forgive us, but we have places to be and a beautiful princess to save. 
Don't worry, monkey. This young knight may actually be able to save the princess. I heard the princess was being held captive in the royal castle. The demon king is performing some kind of ritual there. In seven days, the whole world will be swallowed by darkness. How terrible. We must hurry to the royal castle then. Wait. I apologize for being frank, but in your current state, you'd never be able to defeat the demon king. Don't judge him based on his youth. He has exceptional ways with his sword. And in this world exist four castles to watch over the land. One in the snowy plains, one by the sea, one with the mountains, and one in the desert. There we will find allies who can help you in your quest. Assembling a proper party then. Not a bad idea. Let's set forth at once. Wait. Would you be willing to let us join you? I'm afraid the road ahead will be filled with danger. I've studied the way of curative magic, and this child, or I should say, my, or should I say my monkey friend, is also quite dependable. Well then, why not? The more the merrier, and the stronger. Girl, join your party. Monkey, join your party. A strange statue. If I'm not mistaken, that's the white rock, flame big gold pressure pressure portal of the withered mountain. Um, so this white rock, flame big gold pressure portal of the withered mountain is a portal. Though. What does it do? You activate it by moving its peak, and once activated, you can teleport back to it using the map. Well, that's convenient. I must say, you certainly know a lot. Ah, I am I learned about it in school. I just never thought I'd ever see one in the flesh before. School, huh? Starting to think that maybe I'd benefit from some education. The portal is activated. The portal has been activated. serious a bore and you performed it yeah what would you like i'm quite a store back there i'll have you know that's so chic no what does chic mean Are they? Oh, that's just Sam and Joe. Ah, talk about Passe. They fit right in here. Let's ignore them. I want to hear more about the board. I've heard things, yeah, like the people there barely wear anything.
No, John. No, I bet. We haven't stepped in one of these for a while. <sighs> and look at this ginormous pot. You'll be able to make all kinds of good stuff with this. John, John, over there. You can see outside. There's trees, so many of them. I wonder if you can see green bird from here. Ah, oh, there it is. Hey, there's Uwe. John, John, look, Uwe here. John's crazy wicked when it comes to bashing heads. The forest here, it's different. It's best you don't go too far in. John! Come on, let's go to the blimping ranch. Miller's always talking about how the ranch is short of heads. Perhaps you two are just the help he needs. Let's go, John, let's go! Ah, before I forget, stop by the village on your way back, will you? I'll cook you both something delicious for dinner. Come on, girl. Let's get it done quick so we can eat. Float forward, use more power. Jonathan, doesn't John look like a little older than you? Well, you're a hell of a lot younger than my daughter. Ah ha ha. Anyway, you folks here to help? We sure are. John's a super special awesome digger. Digger? What's up? What I need you to do is simple. Pour out those blimp pigs into their pan. The whole damn tassel's been uppity at the start. At, the, at an upstart lately. Damn near broke all my fences. The mongrel may look sweet as, as a soda pop, but make one of them mad and... Oh boy, you're in for one hell of a ride. Better you leave the little missy here with me. Hold your horses. Those mongrels may look sweet as soulful, but make one of them mad and oh boy, you're in for a hell of a ride. You can do it, John.
One, two, three. Four, five. That's it. That's all. Well, I'll be. Not a bad job at all. You're right on the blimp big hurry, you are. That'll be it for today, damn boy. Blimp pigs are so much fun. They're just like those pot crabs at the Southern Side Pot Ranch. Pot crabs, eh? Sounds tasty. They're so good. They're a pot crock island specialty. Making my stomach crumble like a hell crazed beast, well. Why don't we head on back to fill up our tongues? Ilva's probably got the dinner cooked up for you already. Obtain Blumpig uh, Ranch seal of approval. Ah, you're back. I'm tired as the wings of a bird, I'm sure. Dinner's already ready. Come, let's eat. <coughs> that, that is when John raised the mighty key, key of destiny plunged it into the bowels of that great piece of machinery, laying bare the secret passage the evil mayor has had kept hidden for many a century. Key of Destiny? Oh well, what's that? Huh? It sounds so cool. The Key of Destiny is none other than the great and holy robe John Rick from the back of that giant pot crab. I just came up with the name myself. Oh, not bad, is it? But back to the story. You see, what no one could have expected, no, what no one in their wildest dreams could have envisioned, was that at that exact moment, the evil man would rear his ghastly head and corner us in that tunnel. Although, it was then that I knew what I had to do. With a great and mighty yell, I screamed, Run, you two, I shall hold back this heinous fear. Hey, I don't remember this part. How long is he going to keep talking? And just when we got those two together for dinner. At this rate, who was not even gonna get a word in with John? Evelyn, 
Go get that Jesper fellow and bring him out here, would you? What? But why me? Get someone else to do it. You and him were getting along, sure as syrup, aren't you? Pat, I heard you say more to him than you'd said to your pop all year. Ah, seriously, what do you expect? You old fuddy duddy stick in the mud? How could you and I have anything to talk about? You wanna say that again, young lady? Emily dear, this isn't about uh, you, nor is it about your father. This is about Uva. This is Uva's big chance. Come now, be a dear, wouldn't you? Oh, I see what's going on. <clears throat> All I've got to do is get Jasper out of there, right? I'll do it, but I'm doing it for Uva, not for any of you. Jasper! Oh, Emily, you're just in time. Come, come sit. I was just relaying a tale of our great adventure on the ground. Come out for a sec, will you? Need you for something. But I... But I haven't finished the story yet. Oh, fish and squat. Just get out of here. What's this? Why are you all waiting out here? We want you to tell us a story about Pot Croc Island. Heavens, you do. You... I think I... I think I... I'm falling in love. Now then, where would you like to, me to begin, hmm? Ah yes, how about the part where I verbally accost the detestable evil mayor? <coughs> oh, hold on a sec. You, would you like to come to my place? I mean, it's not, it's not that I, it can't be, it's just that it can be da quite dangerous on the mountain at night. So I thought letting Sam sleep at my place might be better. I'll um, take that as a yes. Anyway, follow me, my house is just to the north of the water. Come in, come in. <clears throat> she is fast asleep. Poor thing, must have been so tuckered out. Come, let me handle it. So sweet. She's going to grow up into an amazing woman someday. Let's just let her rest for now. Don't worry, I'll take care of her. What? What are you three doing here? been here the whole time, dear. Yep, since you put little curly cues, uh, sweet little head on that boat. Initiate the plan, girls. Plan? This what are you three do, trying to do here. Your battle uniform, you, Eva, Uba. You need your battle uniform. Battle uniform. You you want me to wear this? <coughs> uh, 
<laughs> you look absolutely something. Just like me when I was young. But it's so, so inconvenient. You really have to wear this. Don't be naive. And don't be yourself either. Yes, you must be nothing but darling and sweet. As helpless as a baby bird. A baby bird. Got you. Now you naughty pig. Do you remember what I taught you, dear? Look that boy straight in the eye. Grab his shoulder. Then ever so sweetly say, Oh my, it's ever so cold. Ah, I can't take it. Got shivers down my whole backside. Say it again. Say it again. Oh my, it's ever so cold. Wow, we dig it in. You still got that stuff, sis. That boy is gonna fall head over heels for you with moves like that. Head up. Run along, Aruba. You mustn't let that boy get away. I suppose what I mean to say is, would you stay with me a while? These lights, they're pretty bright, yes? I just told them myself, just last month. Ah, I mean, no, haha, I didn't. Do it myself, of course. I asked the uh, bowman to install them for me. Like to stay here, John, in the village. There's a little plot of land behind the barn. We can build a little boat there. Grow wheat in the field in the spring. Raise a chicken or two. <coughs> Did I say it wrong? Oh my, is it ever cold? I no good, huh? <clears throat> I'll watch out this afternoon. You don't have to worry. 